Everyone by now knows about Filmic Pro. They've gone subscription. And so I've been looking at alternative apps and my favorite at the moment is Cinema P3. But one question that looms for me because I like to shoot log is how does Cinema P3 log compare to Filmic Pro log? All right, so I'm under an awning here at a park and there's quite a bit of dynamic range between the shaded area here and then the outside area. And so I've got a shot set up here. I'm using Filmic Pro first and then I'll use Cinema P3. I'm going to shoot in standard and then log, both 10-bit ProRes. All right, first up, Filmic Pro. Pay attention to the sky. And then here's that log shot graded. And now send my P3. Again, pay attention to the sky. Now for some reason, the white balance did go bluer on this log shot. And then here it is graded. Now we'll compare each of these. The standard look very similar, although Filmic Pro, the sky is a little bit hotter. The log looked pretty similar too, but on this one, the sky on Cinema P3 got a little bit hotter. And then graded, they look very similar, but the P3 sky is brighter. And just as a quick aside, on these shots here, I did do a power window around my face. That is a benefit to shooting log as you have more control in the midtones and shadows. All right, one more setup over here. Looks like a little lake, although it's actually just rainwater that is piled up. But I'm shooting a landscape here with a mix of shadows and sun. All right, and here's Filmic Pro. The exposure on this shot looks pretty good across the board. And here that is graded. And now Cinema P3. Same story here, pretty solid exposure across the whole image. And then a color grade added. And now compared. You'll see on this shot with Filmic Pro, the sky does seem a little bit brighter. And same story with the log shot. When graded, they do both look very similar. All right, and one last setup here, I'm using the 3X Tele I've got a foreground object, the side of this tree with water in the distance. And first up here, Filmic Pro. Now the white balance looks a little bit weird here. And again, look at the sky. The tree and the grass and the water all look properly exposed. The sky looks a little blown out. And again, I'm using auto exposure. And then here's a more stylized grade. And I was able to pull the sky back a little bit. Now Cinema P3 looks different. It holds the sky very well. And that includes on the log shot. White balance is a little funky though, just like Filmic Pro. And then here that is with a stylized grade. Comparing these two, I'm not really sure what is going on with Filmic Pro. The sky is more or less blown out. My guess is it has something to do with tone mapping. Both apps were set to global tone mapping, by the way. The tree and the water and the grass are all exposed properly, but the sky on Filmic Pro is blown out. Though once they're graded, they do look pretty similar. So what does it mean? Well, to me, it means that Cinema P3 is an absolutely great alternative to Filmic Pro, especially for those of us that like to shoot log, and that's ProRes log, by the way. To my knowledge, there's not another app out there that allows you to do that besides Filmic Pro. Now, this was not a scientific test. I didn't shoot charts. 
and I did auto exposure. I typically will lower the exposure just a little bit when I'm shooting something, but I want to keep the variables to a minimum. So again, I thought they looked remarkably similar, and in some cases, P3 was better, and in some cases, Filmic Pro was better. But in the end, in my opinion, we do have a viable option now in Cinema P3 if you want to shoot ProRes Log on your iPhone.